It's still 10.30. A warm pair of greetings and special morning to all of you. Respected and Reverend Father Manager and young and energetic sisters, my beloved teachers, my lovable children, once again, a special and precious morning and happy Independence Day to all of you. Just a few minutes back, I could see enjoying the program of your cultural events, but now your face is not happy. I'm not seeing the real joy now because you have completed your cultural events. I'm sure you know very well that I'm not going to dance. I'm not going to sing. So sister is going to speak something. I promise you, I'll make you alive and exist in this movement. If you listen to me, can you? Okay. Dear teachers, dear parents, and my dear children, today is a day to show our reverence and to remember our freedom fighters who got freedom for us. Every Independence Day, whole India is celebrating by hoisting the flag of our country. fighters fought for our country and we got freedom. If I ask you a question, what is Independence Day? I am sure you will say many freedom fighters sacrificed their life and fought for our country and we got freedom. And if I ask you one question, how many likes to celebrate Independence Day? Slowly, only two hands I can see. I thought that all you raise your hands. Okay. Yes. It's really great privilege to stand in front of you and address in the gathering on 76th Independence Day. If you like to listen to me, then I can share you something. Every Independence Day and Republic Day or 15th of August of, or 26th of January, we remember many freedom fighters and the leaders of the country. Of course, it's our duty to show our reverence, to salute the flag. Is it only the duty you're thinking now? My dad used to tell me 20 years back, you don't believe me. Dear child, you are a religious person now. Whether you are going to be a normal sister or whether you are going to be a normal teacher or a principal of the school or even you become a provincial and mother general of the congregation, he used to tell me to keep it in my mind. Be good in whatever you are. Be good in what you do. Did you listen my words? My dad used to tell me, be good in what you do and be good in what you are. You may not believe, I proudly can say, I never fail in that statement which my dad said to me when I was a young sister of the congregation. And every Independence Day, you think that you will salute the flag and we remember all the freedom fighters. Our duty is not only that. 
our duty will not end by saluting the flag or having the cultural program or having the parades or different events of the PT. Our duty is to value the freedom. If I ask you, tell the name of the freedom fighters, I'm sure some of you can remember the names and tell starting from Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Bhagat Singh, Rani Lakshmi Bai. Like that you can say the names. Are they only the persons who got freedom? 15 years back, in 2006, I got first time to go to Delhi. When I stood first time in front of the India Gate, like others, I took more snaps and I took selfies, but still something pushed me and shaped not the body, my mind and heart. You don't believe, I shed tears there. Do you know why? Like you, I used to study and remember some of the freedom fighters in the textbook. We never seen them. But first time when I saw the names which carved in the stones in front of the wall of the Indian Gate in Delhi, thousands of people who shed and sacrificed their life for us. Today you and me are standing here and we are, we are in independent country. It's not a lottery ticket. It's not in one night. They struggle a lot. They face lots of pain. They feel respected, exploited. And face all the times, tribulations to get this freedom. Now we are free. We have born an independent country. Now we are proud to be the true citizen of India. So I request you all, our duty is not only saluting the flag, we need to contribute something. What do you will contribute? How will you contribute? Don't think that I am giving lecture. Listen to me. How do you contribute yourself to the country? There are many ways, but simple method. It's not today I'm here. You may think that as a principal or your true sister or your teacher or take me as your friend. Listen to me. Simple way to contribute ourselves to the country. First and foremost, all of you, you and me, remember to have true faith in God. Start to remember the Almighty, whether you are Christian, Hindu, Muslim, Jain or Buddhist. The faith and devotion which you receive from your parents, not simply for worshipping without understanding the meaning. Remember God. And the second thing, love each other. Start loving the people around you. They can be your friends, they can be your parents, they can be your teachers, whomever may be. Start loving them. And the third, start respect each other. Whomever, wherever, it is not on independent state. I used to tell these three things. Whomever experienced with me, my students, they sure know these three things. You can take it as a precious stones or the gem or any diamonds like precious one in your life. Remember God and respect the people whether high or low, whether rich or poor and love each other and start doing your duties. In Navy, if you know the Navy people will take oath. They take the first oath first. They keep their duty first. And the second, they keep their personal life. I'm not saying to impress.
address our father here, manager, is a very good exemplary model person. In the beginning itself, I told. I have seen many religious leaders, religious persons. When I was in Rajasthan, I have seen a very good chairman person. The chairperson of the particular place, even the KT children will mention his name because the way he behaves, the way he treats the people, the way he helps the children, the way he helps the people surrounding. So the same thing I have seen in many religious fathers doing good, but something special I could see in our magic manager's life. Every time, every seconds, every minute, he never been as a manager. He just do everything. He never expects to others to do the thing. Each and everything. If we say no, we will do father. Whatever, whoever is there, responsible to do the work, he will be there. That is the great leader. So we should salute many of you here. I'm really surprised. Our own KG section. I can say we can salute to the teachers and the parents who train them to come on the stage to say boldly as they are the Jansky Rani or uh, any other freedom fighters stood on the stage. Let's give a big clap for them for their presentation with the other children. So we feel proud now they are our children. So kindly dear children, so I stop and end my message before you getting tired of my listening. But still, do your duties. You are now maybe the class monitor. You may be the teacher. You may be your teachers and children. Maybe you will become a doctor, engineer, pilot, astronaut, whatever may be, or even the child chief minister, prime minister of a country. But kindly be good in what you are and what you do. With this, I like to end my seat. All the best once again. Happy Independence Day, all of you. Jai Hind and Jai Bharat.